Hey there, Licking Refers. If you will allow me a few minutes of your time, I would like to recommend a few guitar players here on YouTube, which I personally love, and I think that they're some of the best guitar players on YouTube you might have never heard of yet. And I truly and sincerely believe that these guys deserve at least 10 times their subscriber count, because it's just a travesty of justice that these guys don't get the same exposure as people who in all honesty, are nowhere near their level. Okay? Uh, I'm talking first and foremost about Naudo Rodriguez. We've all heard about Naudo, but we haven't subscribed to Naudo. And in my opinion, that's the worst offense in YouTube history because Naudo is bar none the best guitar player on YouTube, in my opinion. The guy's technique, sound, approach, knowledge, and just smart arrangements, they're smart, they're beautiful, and his playing is unparalleled and unmatched by anyone. This guy is a guitar god, and he deserves your subscription and your views. Naldo Rodriguez is, in my opinion, the best guitar player on YouTube. The second best guitar player on YouTube that you haven't discovered yet, this guy is amazing, but he's in a smaller niche. Uh, his name is Jorgen or Jorgen Ehlers. I, uh, I hope I'm not mispronouncing it too bad. Um, and this guy wears a hat. He plays a Martin, sometimes a Matan guitar. And he usually arranges blues pieces or Jimi Hendrix and Beatles pieces, mostly. Um, and his tone is unbelievable. His tone, his touch on the guitar, his feeling for hot licks and tasty arrangements and just very smart um, chords and very uh, intuitive sounds from the guitar because, because um, what I mean by intuitive is that his arrangements are insanely complex and yet they sound simple, they're deceptive. And uh, if you go and listen to only one thing that he's done, listen to Red House, to his arrangement of Red House by Jimi Hendrix. It's just a hint at the original. It's, it's basically an original arrangement, an original composition by him, uh, which is a nod to Red House. But listen to Jorgen Heller's Red House. It's incredible. I've transcribed many of his pieces, and I've personally learned a lot from his arrangements. Uh, in any of his arrangements, I find something that I can learn, uh, something that I haven't thought about yet. So go and visit his channel. This guy is just unbelievable. His, his sound is just so sweet. You, you'll understand what I'm talking about when you listen to him. Now, um, another favorite guitar player of mine actually gets, he, he starts to get recognition lately. His name is Marcos Ke uh, Kaiser. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly because um, it's phonetic. It's Marcos Kaiser. And he's, uh, he's making um, 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 Disney movies and children's um, uh, series and animation series themes. And he plays a seven string classical guitar and he's just, his, his, his enthusiasm is just uh, uh, incredible. And every time I watch him, I, I just can't help but smile. So he's also great. Now, um, there's a Swedish guy, I forget the name right now, um, who creates anime arrangements. And this guy is amazing. But there's a lesser known um, player who creates anime arrangements, anime and Japanese music arrangements. His name is Tom Lau. And again, I hope I'm not mispronouncing it. Um, and um, it's called Tom Lau Music, his channel. Tom Lau deserves your subscription because he's also very interesting. He uses many, many alternate tunings, which I find interesting because alternate tunings can get very tired, but he's using them in a very, very, very creative way. Now, for those of you who love uh, classically oriented arrangements, like Per Olive's uh, arrangements, this guy is very well known on YouTube. There's another guy called, uh, his channel is called Treble Clef. Um, and he creates classically oriented arrangements, uh, kind of like 
per olives, uh, there's a lot of parallels between their uh, arrangements. And if you like the one, you love the other. Okay, so go and give them your support. Okay, give Treble Clef this guy your support. Now, the last but not least player that I want to recommend to you, his name is Michael Neveritsky. Again, I hope I'm not butchering the name, but that's the way it's written down, at least I think it is. Uh, Michael Neveritsky, he's playing very old school finger style material. He's playing all those rags, the Scott Joplin material. The uh, the old finger style blues, the very the the the, the deep blues material, um, and um, while his technique is not as clean as the other guys. Uh, is the the playing is magnificent and the material is magnificent. You don't hear almost no one else playing those pieces, and it's kind of a revival. He's he's keeping these these finger style pieces alive. It's the old school finger style. It's the roots finger style material, and it's worth your listening, and it's worth your while, and it's worth your subscription. So Jorgen Ellers. Naudo Rodriguez, Marcos Kaiser, Tom Lau, and Michael Neveritsky, and Treble Clef. I don't know the name, I don't know the guy's name, uh, but that's the name of his channel. So those are my personal recommendations. I love these guitar players, and they deserve your love and your support and your viewership, because they're amazing. They're amazing. They're each in his own right. So um, just spreading the love here. So I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.